How many rubber bands will crush a human skull? I was on TikTok the other day and saw a guy putting rubber bands on a watermelon until it exploded. I've seen a hundred of these videos over the years, but this time something was different. This time I thought to myself, what if I put rubber bands on a human skull instead of a watermelon? Would your skull explode in the same way that the watermelon does? If so, how many bands would it take? Oh, it's about to go. Oh my God. Answering this question took a lot longer than I thought, but what started as a dumb idea became a lot more interesting the more experiments we did and it ultimately gave me a whole new respect for the power of a basic rubber band. That's crazy. I'll start by putting rubber bands on my own head until I can't take it anymore. Then we'll get a baseline by testing how many bands it takes for a watermelon to burst. And finally, we'll use the closest thing we can to a real human skull. Here we see the Daniel, an extraordinary creature preparing for his next endeavor. I'm gonna see how many I can put on before it starts to hurt. I think your head's gonna like turn purple or something. Ooh, actually, yeah, I'm holding like 10 of them and like this is pretty hard to stretch. Let's see what happens. Do I have two on right now? I think that's one. Oh, I don't know how to count. Two, three. Three already feels pretty tight. That's, I'm actually surprised how that feels. Oh, that's not good, dude. Is it? It's already turning purple. No way. That's only five. Oh, yeah, that doesn't feel good, actually. Six, can I get to 10 real quick? Oh, it's squeezing now. Ah, seven. It seriously hurts more with every single one I put on. Eight, oof. Nine, eh, 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 eh. 10. Oh my God, get that off, okay. get that off. Ah, ah, oh, this is bad, I can't get it off. This is gonna pull my hair so bad. Oh no. Oh, okay, there's one. I can't get my fingers under it to get them out. Ah, oh, okay. 10 hurts surprisingly bad, so I guess we're gonna have to figure something else out. The Daniel severely regrets his decision to try the watermelon TikTok experiment on his own cranium. He rests within his dwelling to overcome the pain. My head hurts. All right, here's our watermelon. We got our rubber bands. There's only one way to find out how many it takes. That was super easy to open, by the way. Rubber band number one going on. Can't wait to do this 999 more times. Oof. Yeah, that's feeling pretty tight. <coughs> Everybody say bless you in the comments. Thank you, thank you guys. Thank you so much for blessing me. I'm actually like really afraid of it blowing up. <laughs> so I've seen videos and they go, <laughs> they go flying. I never thought I would do this. So this is what it looks like with 85 rubber bands. And this is what it looks like with one firecracker. <sighs> Time to put on another bag. That's two full bags. Got to put more bags on it. Yeah. Oh. Ah, I don't like when it aims at me. <laughs> it's making a lot of noise. I can see why this is so popular. It's kind <laughs> of fun. <laughs> that is four bags. So 330-ish rubber bands. I'm surprised it hasn't flown yet. Oh, it's sweating, look. The spot where the firecracker hit is leaking water. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, my mom. <laughs> Did you see how high that went? Oh, 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 oh my Dude, that went like six feet up in the air. Holy crap, oh, look at this. Whoa. <laughs> it, it became an automaton. Oh, we gotta check the security camera footage. <laughs> yeah, wait, where'd the ball of rubber bands go? Oh, oh my, what? This is a good way to make a rubber band ball, I'll tell you what. Yeah, it's all flavorful too, how does it taste? Watermelon-y. And basketball-y. Look at how the whole watermelon is just like gross and weird. So it took like 400 for the watermelon. We'll see how many it takes for the skull. Now we need something realistic to test this on that isn't my own head because I found out the hard way it doesn't feel very good. If you're a long time viewer of the channel, you probably know that I'm stingy and so I'm not just gonna buy a ballistic dummy head. Also, this is something of a maker channel and what kind of maker would I be if I didn't make something in this video? 
I've got this leftover skull from when we shot our world's heaviest golf ball video. I think with some food coloring, a water balloon, and some ballistic gel, I can turn this into a realistic test subject and save a couple hundred bucks while I'm at it. I'm breaking the ballistic gel into smaller pieces so it can be heated easier. I couldn't find a clean pan, so this glassware will have to suffice. If you think this is a stupid idea, you should know you're only witnessing a fraction of my power. While that's heating on low so it doesn't burn, I'm going to fill up this water balloon with, you guessed it, water, and YouTube-friendly blue food coloring. That can act as the brains of this school. Okay, let's go check on that gel. Oh, crap, it's burning. Uh, 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 uh. Don't breathe, this. First, we'll add the YouTube-friendly brain and give it a nice bed of searing hot ballistics gel. This will help with the realism and keeping it where we want it. And most importantly, hopefully prevent it from popping. Call me Walker White, you know. Then we'll coat the top half of the skull, making sure to get the gel all the way to the edges. Once that's cooled enough to only burn me a little, I'll put the two halves together. Then I'll poke him in the eye repeatedly to remind him of his place. At this point, the gel has cooled a little too much to coat the outside of the skull, but just like Martha Stewart, I had a crock pot just off screen heating up the rest of the gel. I'll use the rest of the gel in the glass, then make sure to make a critical error and leave the skull upside down. Just watch as this causes me great pain and anguish, a critical step in skull making. Ah, more hot ballistic gel on my glove. Ah, how do I get that off? Why is it doing that? I'll quickly finish covering the skull in the gel to get a nice simulation of the thin layer of flesh on a real head. If you want to follow along at home, poke yourself in the forehead to get a feel for what we're going for. Then it's time for my favorite step, torching. This smooths out the gel and masks my inability to make something that looks decent. I'll make sure to catch it on fire just to keep things interesting. As I finished up my skull, I realized something I should have noticed a lot sooner. This seam is definitely going to be an issue. I'm pretty sure the rubber bands will just slice right through it without much resistance. Unfortunately, I don't think this would be worth testing. Well, I still don't want to pay for a pre-made ballistic dummy, so now all I had left was one option. And to my surprise, they actually agreed to send us one. So thank you, Clear Ballistics. I hope for your sake that this video gets more than 12 views. Come on now, Ken. We're going on a little road trip. Safety first, Ken. That's not going anywhere. Big thank you to Clear Ballistics for sending us their loaded Ken bus. You're loaded, huh? Why don't we go band for band right now? Wait, before we get started, we gotta do a quick test. So that's what that feels like. I'm gonna be riding that high all week. Here we have all the rubber bands from the watermelon. We're gonna start with these and see if he can survive. And then <laughs> we've got plenty of others if that's not enough. That's a lot of rubber bands. Where should we go? Right here in like the forehead? All right, rubber band number two. Uh, two and three. Oh. We're going crazy. So this is 10 rubber bands. Um, looking okay. The skin's getting a little pushed in. Uh, I know from experience that doesn't feel very good. In each of these bags, we got 320 bands. That's like half as much as my bank account. Uh, we've had a development. Ouch. It's going through the flesh. The scalp is like completely detached now. You can see a clean line where the 24 bands have just completely cut all the way through. 24 rubber bands will bust ballistics gel. Might not break your skin, but it would probably hurt pretty bad. I wonder if we just like rip this off and go straight to the skull? I don't know. We're at about 40 and the scalp is coming clean off. Yeah, that's not looking good. Oh. Oh, nice. Yeah, maybe do that around the eyeballs. Come take a look at the back. This is gross. <laughs> it's just gone through all that. So we're down to just the skull, which is kind of wild. Uh, we got some appendages here. Let's just take those off. They're kind of in the way. Sorry, Ken. Nothing personal, kid. I wonder if this is gonna be a gradual, like, crumpling, or if it's gonna not crack at all, and then all of a sudden just boom, all at once. So the 400 bands that did in the watermelon have not quite done in the head. Um, we have about a thousand more here. Let's see when it goes. This is gonna take a long time. Oh! 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 Wait, what's happening? What? No. <laughs> okay, so, oh, the neck broke. <laughs> well, I didn't think this would happen, but we decapitated him. You can see the lower jaw right there. I think the bands kind of pushed all the gel down and then just kind of slowly worked their way down and broke off the 
neck here. All right, let's just get rid of all the gel, I guess. Oh, it's going through his cheekbone. They don't mess around. Well, it looks like the top spine bone disconnected from the skull. I mean, look at, like, these are tough. That's the plastic. It's not the glue that failed. It's like straight up the plastic that failed. But the head's still fine. Just like a coconut. Let's make sure we really line it up this time so we don't have those problems of it, like, coming off. This thing looks like it's about to go. So while I'm putting these bands on, I'm gonna tell you guys about our sponsor, DraftKings Casino. DraftKings is having the must-play casino event of the summer. Experience the thrill this summer with their blockbuster lineup of games. New players can sign up now and get $100 of casino credits when they play just $1. DraftKings has over 300 real money games, including live dealer games, available at your fingertips. DraftKings has huge jackpots for wins all summer long, and they're safe, secure, and reliable. They've awarded over $100 million in jackpot winnings. They add real money games regularly and have a wide selection of slots and blackjacks that are exclusive to DraftKings. If DraftKings Casino isn't available in your state yet, try out the DraftKings Daily Fantasy app where you can earn winnings all season long. New players, head to DraftKings Casino app right now. Sign up using promo code WATERJET, play just $1, and instantly receive $100 in casino credits. Plus, come back weekly for your own blockbuster bonus. All right, 999 and 1,000. How did it not blow up? I, I don't know. Come look how thick that is. That's like two inches of just straight rubber band. Like, if I pulled that with all my might, I don't think I could do it. Like, ask one of those strong men who's like seven feet tall to grab a thousand rubber bands and pull on them. I kind of doubt they'd be able to stretch it out. Well, I mean, we used all our rubber bands and it's getting a little too dark for the slow-mo to see. So it's got like three and a half times the amount of rubber bands on it that it took the watermelon to explode. But like, yeah, I expected it to be stronger, but not this much stronger. So I guess we're coming back tomorrow and we're gonna hope it doesn't blow up overnight. We went and got the spare rubber bands from the rubber band ball video. You can still see the green resin on there. So that'll be 1500 total. We'll see what this does. Should we do a TikTok live stream just for fun right now? <laughs> sure. We're live, uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh, you might think it's cringe that we're wearing gloves, but after you put a thousand rubber bands on a skull, your hands start to hurt. You know, we're helping them out. Phantom and Bridge. Okay, yeah. Turn off that phantom, turn off that line! <laughs> um. So basically, I fell out of a two-story window when I was three. Hit the gritty. I said, right foot creep, boo, you know how to eat all. Maybe they have a price limit to make it fair. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Slow-mo, slow-mo, slow-mo. It's slow off. No, the slow-mo is off. No, why is the slow-mo off? I did not expect that to happen. Oh, I'm so sad the slow-mo wasn't rolling. Why did we turn that off? Well, it takes about 1,400. Um, let's take a look at this. Let's look at the aftermath. Yeah, tons of shrapnel. I actually got hit in the hand in two places. I was yapping about Austria. It didn't make a sound. It just blew up. Uh, it took me completely off guard. We were live streaming, kind of a mess. We didn't get on slow-mo, which is kind of sad, but the answer is around 1400. Well, lesson learned. We should just have the Phantom running no matter what. Why doesn't America use kilometers per hour instead of Big Macs per second? Um, we use freedom. What's your eye level? 